So a long time ago, um, the Hindu god Krishna came to me, and uh, I don't remember much about it at all. It's very suppressed. Uh, however, Chris, Krishna was mentioned again in the video that I saw today. And uh, what does it mean? It means the Hindu gods and their armies are here and they are rubbing out the evil ones. We just got to slam on that one because that's what they're doing. They're slamming the doors on these evil people to rub them out. Do you have to order? Well, if you're evil, you better believe it because they will not be defeated. They are the gods. So, where do you stand on this? If you're a reptilian thing, well, they're going to rub you out. And if you're a good person, they're here to protect you. Are you here to protect me? I hope so, because I've taken on the chin, the most evil fucking people. Possibly the evilest people on the whole planet. I don't know. Do you really think so? Do you really think that anybody's attacked like this day and night? Murderous, murderous attempt at multiple times a day. Every time they do this, it's trying to kill me. Why did they do this? Because they're evil. And why did they get me? Because I shine. I shine really bright because I'm very high on the scale of human consciousness. That's it. Well, that's it. Why? Because I'm a trophy prize for them. They think if they kill me that they're going to get some special prize. I don't know. They're insane. The evil ones are completely insane. They don't have any reason or rhyme to do anything other than they love to kill. They love to torture. So anyways, um, Krishna continues to tell everybody on the planet that you must get your consciousness up to 540 on the scale of human consciousness, which is the love of a, a wagging, of a tail of a loving dog. You know, the, the, the tail that wags when they love you. That's where you need to be all the time. So whatever it is that drops your consciousness down to where you want to do hurtful things to other people, you won't make it. You have to be a love of, like, I can't even get this through. So what else do we need to tell you? Uh, we expect Krishna to kill these things as soon as he can. When's that going to be? We're not going to say it because there's a lot of battles going on. It's a real war. It's a real war between the demonic and the gods. How soon are we going to see me get a let up on this thing? Uh, this year, I've been told this year that the evil ones that harass me will be rubbed out. And uh, in the meantime, every day they try and rub me out, the evil ones. So, you know, what else can you expect? Well, if you, if you don't have your consciousness up to 540, the forces of light are going to rub you out. You've seen so many videos of me being tortured. And the forces of light are going directly to take out the ones that are attacking light workers. So the ones that are attacking me are again on notice. They've been told a million times not to do this. They've seen all kinds of signs from the universe telling them uh, absolutely don't do this. They're horrific things and all they want to do is kill. They, they don't win anything. They're not about money. They're not after fame, fortune or pride. Yes, it's all pride. It's all about telling God that they are, um, the reptilians are God, evil fucking things. So, uh, well, that's your update. Make sure you understand 540 on the scale of human consciousness. You need to do inner work and do it in a big hurry because when they arrive here, and if you're not at 540, that's the end of your life, and you won't get another incarnation. If it sounds um, strange, well, I don't know where you've been, because I've been talking about Earth Ascension for a long time. A lot of people sit on their hands, and they bury their hands in the sand. But anybody that watches me, you're being tortured and tortured and tortured and tortured. This is no bullshit thing. These evil people are really evil. And the forces of light have been battling out and cleaning out an unbelievable amount of evil people. That's your update. Oh, by the way, if you really do want to talk to the forces of light, what you do is you put your hand on your heart and you say, Spirit, please connect me to the Galactic Federation of Light. And then you can talk right through your hand to the Spirit, right through your heart. Your heart is a direct connection. And Galactic Federation of Light message is, we're here, we're in Thunder Bay, Canada, and we know that Bobby Bros is attacked all the time, all day long, by evil ones. 
and we also have shown multiple times that we're around and the evil ones say, well, it's just phony baloney because we see the signs, but no one ever comes to get us. So they're just letting everybody know who is involved in torturing Bobby Burroughs, that that's not true, that they are here and they're showing the flag. And why they don't come and get them right now is because they're doing a lot of other things. It seems phony baloney to me.
These are all, these shakes are all demonic attack on me. This was like all day long. Whenever I'm awake, whenever I'm awake, I'm constantly attacked. Just like this. This is real folks. This is real. This is real. You can look at any of my videos and I'm always attacked. Go back years. I'm always attacked. This is real. This is Armageddon folks. This is the battle between good and evil. In order to be protected you have got to be fully on the side of good. Which means you have to do the inner work to raise your consciousness. Or you'll be rubbed out permanently. But, but that's just the way it is. Demonic attack wouldn't help wouldn't happen to me unless I was a light worker. What is light? I'm light. Conscious consciousness. And evil ones don't want me around. Because they want to control the world and they want to control you sheeple. So I'm not messing around when I tell you, you've got to raise your consciousness because, you know, if you think you're going to live to be 99 years old, you're not. If your consciousness isn't at 540 on the scale of human consciousness, you're going to be taken out just like these horrible, horrible creatures that are attacking me all day. This is my testimony. You watch me shake. Every time I do that, they talk. You can't hear them, but they talk in my head. Evil, evil, evil things. Murderous, murderous things. Terrorists. It's not fun to be attacked by demonic gang stalkers using high tech because that's what I think it is. I think it's very high tech military technology that's aimed at a civilian. Who built it? The USA. Why do I say that? Because the people that talk to me, voice to skull, they know everything about. Mm, United States pop culture. If people were attacking me and they were from China, they wouldn't know all this stuff that they know. It's the USA people in America that are doing this terrorism, and I'm in Canada next door. So, you know, if you're in America, you really need to wake up to the fact that there are evil, evil people that are quite likely in your US military that are doing this using high-tech stuff that's not disclosed to you but it's paid for you it's paid by you the American taxpayer this is all I can give you for a talk because of the blocks these demonic ones do expect that Krishna and Kali and the Hindu gods are gonna wipe them out they're expecting right now during this video to get wiped out because they have expected for a long time that they're going to get wiped out. When are they going to get wiped out? Well, they've been asking and asking and asking and act and asking and asking and acting and acting and acting as if it's not going to happen. But it is going to happen. And they know it. And they're still trying to kill me before they're what rubbed out. They don't want to live, these demonic people. They don't want to live. They're kamikaze. 
They're insane. They're absolutely insane. But they're incredibly dangerous and deadly. I'm very tired. I'm so tired. But day after day, I make it through another day. Another day and another day and another day. And another day and another day. And the months turn into years. I have to cover up my bag because they electronically attack my dick pic all day long. This morning when I woke up, Brent Beeson, that's a, you know, one of the names that the devils give themselves, be sin. Well, they stopped me from peeing. I went to sit down to pee this morning and I sat there for a long time and they blocked the flow of urine. They do this from time to time. Brent Beeson did it to me last year when I was in the hospital. Every day, all day long, I sat on the toilet. Now he can't do that anymore because the Galactic Federation pushes them out of the way. You know, it took a little while this morning, but it's happened to me, you know, last month, the same thing. When he tries to go in the sit, do the same thing he did to me last year. I sit there for hours trying to pee and can't pee. I relax and relax, but in my remote control, they would use electronic technologies, I think, to prevent the urine from flowing. Now, the Galactic Federation comes in and blocks out their signal. So, I could pee today. I went through that period this morning quite, quite a long time, but then, once they couldn't do it anymore, once these evil ones couldn't stop me from peeing anymore, well, that's been the rest of today. As far as these attacks here, uh, it, the Galactic Federation is again telling these evil ones that they are on them and that these evil ones are still playing stupid. The Galactic Federation has given these ones way too much time to change. So I just again tell the Galactic Federation um, don't give them time to change. It's been years. And the Galactic Federation continues to tell all you people out there they know who you are as well.
and all of those ones out there that are still trolling on my accounts looking to see what's going on with me so they can do gossip you're all going to be rubbed out killed off they watch every day to see Who's coming in as a looky-loo to see what's going on and who's coming in to actually learn something about what's going on? The looky-loos, the gossip girls, are all going to be killed off. People who are, have a genuine interest in what's going on and wanting to know the truth, well, keep coming. Because I'm still going to give you, as much as I can, spiritual information. So the spiritual information I'm going to give you now is lots of you are still unwell. In other words, your egos are so strong that you're considered insane by the Galactic Federation. Insane. Well, Eckhart Tolle's book, The Power of Now, explains it. That book has been around a long time. And people who refuse to learn how to better themselves are worthless. And you will be eliminated. It's hard to breathe. It's very hard to breathe. And they get rid of my sinuses and they close up my sinuses to make it very hard to breathe. To breathe. And then when every time I'm trying to eat, they choke me. They don't want me to live. They make my life as a human being impossible. They attack me even when I go to get grocery shopping. They attack me all day long with the intent to kill me. So, that's what I'm up against. And that's why I continue to tell everybody else, don't get involved with anything other than raising your consciousness. Because if you're involved in anything other than spiritual activities to raise your consciousness, you're going to be considered a scumbag. And you'll be rubbed out. So those of you who still are doing jobs that you don't need because you don't need the money, you need to quit your job and spend all day meditating. And you're going to call yourself insane or whatever, but you know, the people back in Noah's day knew that Noah was building an ark. And they all laughed and they joked and they called Noah jack off. But in the end, Noah followed his intuition and followed his spirit. And he lived. And all the rest of them died. If it sounds overly dramatic, you've got to look at the number of videos that I've made where I'm demonically attacked. Everyone.
This is what happens to me all day. All day long. I'm tortured like this all day long. All day long. Day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. This is my life. I'm all in on the fifth dimensional earth. All in. And that's why I'm attacked. While the rest of you people are out, la 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 la, having a lovely time going skiing and going on trips, partying, watching football, having your chicken wings. Living your life as best as you can. I'm under demonic attack for years. It's real. And this is what it's all about. How would you like to be herky jerked all day long for years and years and years? So you can't work, you can't make any money. And then when you tell your friends and your family this story of what's going on, they ignore you. Those people are going to be rubbed out permanently because they have no heart, no compassion, no intuition to look into what I'm saying with their own consciousness, to peer into me. Because people with intuition can look at me and say, my God, he's telling the truth. But if you don't get any intuition, then you're a low vibe tribe. And you're not a fifth dimensional beast. That's what they're going to call the beings that raise their consciousness, because the real beasts are the ones like this. I mean, they don't look reptilian, do they? I don't know. I can't see them. I'm going to call them human, though. Reptilian on the inside. Maybe they look a bit like me on the outside. You all know there's scumbags among humanity. Lots. And you know that if you're a good person, you're... You know, you might worry for your children. Now we're cleaning up the whole planet. We're cleaning up everything. And we're getting rid of everybody who won't raise their consciousness to 540 unconditional love. And so, that's the update today. That's 35 minutes in. The demons keep wondering if they're going to be rubbed out during this video. And the answer is, I can't help you out. Because they always wonder. And I'm not going to give them military ad advantage to know when they're going to be rubbed out. Because they're very high tech. the operators of this machine this torture device by remote control are among the stupidest people on the planet they're evil 100% evil but they're incredibly stupid and dumb they know the truth they know all about what's going on in the planet. Yep. Organized darkness knows everything about what's going on with what we call Earth Ascension. And they're doing everything to block it. They don't want you to know about it. They want to dumb you down. They want to keep you low vibe. They want to keep you eating meat and drinking booze. So don't eat meat. Don't buy meat. And stop drinking booze. Low vibe things.
If you won't do that, then you've already decided to die and be permanently exterminated. This is your last lifetime, and right now is really it's your last chance. Either, either you're going to be at 540 now, or you're working really hard to get to 540. You need the book Transcending the Levels of Consciousness by David R. Hawkins. For 25 bucks, it's a great investment. And if you're poor, you can go to Amazon. You can get the Kindle version and get a free sample. Get the free sample and start reading. You need to know what's going on with your consciousness, and that book is the handbook. You need that book if you want to live, if you want to survive. If you think I'm fooling, you know, here's 36 minutes in of me being tortured by remote control. I'm not fooling. And the people who are out to kill me are not fooling. This is real. You can back, go back and look at my other videos and you can see I'm constantly attacked. Go back a month, go back a year. I'm constantly attacked. And I've been talking about this consciousness, getting your consciousness up for years. Some people have ears to hear and a lot of people are just, fuck off, Bob. You're insane. So... Just call me Noah. I know it sounds crazy, but you know what's going on over and over again in this world. The people in power are stupid and evil. And so they're all going to be rubbed out. You can go uh, and look up an article called Forces of Retribution on the blog. It's a website. StuartWild.com, S-T-U-A-R-T-W-I-L-D-E.com. In the Forces of, Rep of Retribution story, you'll read about the Hindu gods. There's more about the Hindu gods on that website, stuartwell.com. You need to go check it out because he's a visionary. And he told us a long time ago, 1995, The Whispering Winds of Change. You can find that probably somewhere. I'm not sure if it's in if it's in Kindle format, but it's definitely in hardcover. You can probably get a used copy of it. 1995, the whispering winds of change predicted this time when the world was going to go insane. And then Stuart Welt talked about the great renewal of the planet when all the evil fucking devils are wiped out and rubbed out, and then the good people, the golden people, enjoy paradise, heaven on earth. Paul Butler on Prime Disclosure on YouTube every day does an hour long report from Lightworkers on what's going on. Prime Disclosure on YouTube. Go check it out. Go check it out every day. Subscribe to that one. Listen every day. He's not fooling, and the Lightworkers aren't fooling either. A lot of you dumb bunnies know that there's something up. Incredibly stupid and incredibly lazy. And in the end, you're like houseflies facing a can of raid. Refusing to do the spiritual work. David R. Hawkins of Consciousness Research told us that Earth is purgatory. Purgatory is a Roman Catholic term for a place where people go that aren't good enough to get into heaven. 
a place where people have got to improve themselves. It's like being on probation. This planet is a probationary planet. And you're on probation. And, you know, a lot of people have got very low consciousness on the scale of human consciousness. And they're never going to pass probation. And this is, this is you know, sort of the final end. It's not sort of. It is the end. It is the end of probation. Either you pass probation by being at 540 on the scale of human consciousness, or you flunk if you're under 540. If that was what your high school teacher told you, in order to pass this course, you got to make this mark. If you want to make the mark, then you're going to put the work in, you're going to study. Are you not? Did you pass high school or not? This is even bigger than high school. This is life itself. You decide whether you're going to live or die. There's no reincarnation if you flunk probation. If you flunk, you're going to be exterminated permanently. No reincarnation. That's the end of you. Why? Because you've had multiple lifetimes to get it right. If you haven't looked into past lives and stuff, then you're a complete ignoramus when it comes to the nature of what you are, a spirit having a human experience, so that you can learn and apply the lessons so that you can raise yourself on the scale of human consciousness. So many people are just lazy. Lazy and just, la 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 la, let's just have a good time. That's not good enough. That's not what this is for. You raise your consciousness up, and when we have heaven on earth, then you get heaven on earth. Right now, we're fighting to implement heaven on earth, the light workers, and then we've got all the other fucking assholes. And then we got the absolute devils, like the one who attacked me right now. The most stupid, stupid demonic things. Incredibly stupid. They're so stupid that they can't even come up with a story. They can't tell a story because they don't have enough consciousness. All they have is killing. Because they just enjoy it. Like Hannibal Lecter. That's what they're like. They enjoy killing for the sake of killing. That's the only reason that they want to be alive. Is to kill people like me. That's it. That's the only thing they want. Do they want any kind of reward? No. They do this work of killing people for free. Because they just love it. Following their bliss in this strange way. Is the bliss of killing people like me. They don't want to really live. They don't. They want to die. Because they're insane. They have no future. And they continue to do these attacks because they are in love with killing. They're low, 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 low vibe. 150 on the scale of human consciousness, which is satanic. Killing. Just for fun. So we're doing a long video, so you can see a long video of what it's like for me. Why? Well, it's here for those of you who want to use your eyes and ears to hear. And for those of people that are just, then they've already decided to die.
So me being here and holding space, you can Google it, holding space, spiritual. It means you, in this case me, holding a high level of consciousness. Holding space, that's what it's called. So that you can entrain up from where you are to where I am. Entrainment is an easy way for you to raise your consciousness. How do you entrain to me? Spend a lot of time watching my videos. This is what goes on every day, all day. All day long, this is my life. Murder attempt after murder attempt after murder attempt. Choking after choking. Have a glass of water, and they choke me. They really want to kill me. How much time do you have to raise your consciousness to 540 on the scale of human consciousness? The Galactic Federation helped me out this morning. They helped me pee. They're here. They're watching everybody. They're watching you. They're watching your neighbor. They keep a watch on everything that's going on the planet. Why does this continue? Because I'm the ground force. I'm the infantry. I am, for the Galactic Federation. I don't got any guns or weapons or anything. I got nothing. It's just me holding space. Just being here at a high consciousness level on the scale of human consciousness. That's what this war is about for lightworkers. We just hold the light. We're not marching on Washington or Ottawa. We don't do that. We don't. We stay wherever we are. Doesn't matter because we're totally enveloped by the field. What field? The consciousness field that we all live in. How do I, I, I can, it's very difficult to continue because getting words out is very hard. But that's what I am. I'm holding space. And there's a lot of people like me that are also holding space at high levels of consciousness. We're the infantry. We're not warring on anybody. We are in our homes. And we're meditating. And that's how we raise consciousness, by meditating, keeping that level of consciousness up. Is it hard for me? No. It's not. I do it automatically. Just because I've done meditation for so long, it's just natural for me. All day long, year after year, this is what's my, what my life is like. In the demonic... The same demonic have been with me for six years. The same people. Their full-time job is to torture me. That's the only thing they do. 
How can they do that? Well, clearly they're supported by very rich people. Very rich people. They can have this technology built and pay people crazy, crazy, demonic people to operate these machines that are targeting people. So if you do hashtag targeted individual, you'll find lots of posts from people like me who are under constant electronic harassment by demonic people paid for by the only people that can afford this stuff, the 1%. Uh, you can watch the movie The Celestine Prophecy. You can get it, stream it. Get it and stream it. The Celestine Prophecy movie. And then you can go and read the books. There's a number of Celestine Prophecy books because it's very much about what's going on. In the Celestine Prophecy movie, you'll see the kind of people that are against good people. Jürgen Prock now is the actor that plays the really, really bad demonic person. You need to see that movie because you need to come to a fuller understanding of what it means. You'll get to see people who have already raised their consciousness to 540 and higher on the scale of human consciousness. You'll see them. You need to see that movie. So go. When you're done with my video, Go search for that movie, the Celestine Prophecy movie, and watch it. And don't forget to get that book, Transcending the Levels of Consciousness, by David R. Hawkins. David R. Hawkins has got lots of YouTube, vid YouTube videos. You can watch him. You can watch Eckhart Tolle on YouTube. And let them coach you and get your consciousness higher. If you're with me this long, it's 55 minutes. Is it too long for you to sit still? Because when the video is over, the demonic attacks on me continue. All day, every day. This is my life. I'm not bullshitting. You need to drop everything. Quit your job. If you want to survive, you need to get everything all in. Are you getting your consciousness up? If you want to live, this is my testimony. All day long, these attacks herky jerky like that and worse. All day long, people are paid to torture me for years. Those people still own mainstream media and they lie to you, constantly lie to you about everything. Donald Trump. Was one of them, and he told you it's fake news. It is everything that they put on there is designed to keep you stupid, to keep you a consumer, to keep you stupid, to keep you watching the mainstream news instead of you turning it off and going into your bedroom, sitting on the floor and forcing yourself to meditate, forcing yourself to raise your consciousness. You watching David R. Hawkins, you watching Eckhart Tolle, 
over and over and over and over again. Watch them. you got to do the work. No one else is going to do the work, and it's not easy work. But if you want to survive, and if you want to experience heaven on earth, you need to be all in. All in. 100%. And those people in your life who keep pulling you away from your spiritual pursuits, you need to divorce them. You need to leave them. Go off on your own if you want to survive. That's what Noah told all those people way back in the day. And that's what I'm telling you. It's real, folks. It's real. And this is what I do all day long, every day. All day long. People do this to me all day long for years the same people the same people evil 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 people evil people evil people it's Armageddon It is on the planet right now. That's what we're living through. years of these same people doing this to me over and over again years of this years day after day it's exhausting But, do you want to live? Or do you want to die and be exterminated? Is the way I look at it. Because I'm still alive. I'm all in on living. This is me. All in on living. I watch everybody else who's just If you want to live, you have to fight to live. You have to fight to live. You've got to do a lot of work to get your consciousness up. And these demonic things, they know so much about spirituality that they learned from me. From being with me. 
having full access to all my memories. Because they do. I don't know how they do it. Super high tech. They got access to everything. Everything I've ever done. And they know all the people that I've ever met. They know all their names. They all know all their faces. They know everything about them. They know everything about you. You think you have a private life? They, uh, you don't. These one percenters have got files on files on you, and they've got high tech stuff. I remember, you know, Jerry Lynch was so worried about, and I was too back in those days. I don't know, 15, 20 years, 20 years ago. You know, you know don't keep your cell phone on because you're going to be tracked and whatever. Well, we did the best, but, you know, that was just. We didn't know. We were ignorant of how much technology they have. They don't need your smartphone in order to spy on you. They have all kinds of other high-tech ways of getting information and watching everybody on the planet. Everything you do, it's the great eye in the sky. The CBS eye, the all-seeing eye of the Illuminati pyramid. What's that? Well, that's just what you call the one percenters. The old boys club. All day long, these evil ones are on me for years. Years of being a targeted person. I'm alive because I want to be alive. They don't want to be alive. Because they know the penalty from them for them being demonic to me is death and then the lake of fire. Just like it says in the Bible. The lake of fire to burn forever. An excruciating pain. The punishment for being evil. It's real. So those of you who think, well, whatever this is, you know, what I, I just kind of planned on, you know, dropping dead and, you know, that's the, the end of it anyways. I don't need to do anything because I don't believe in reincarnation. If you're one of those kind of people, well, if you're a bad person, it doesn't work that way. If you're a bad person, you will be punished for being a bad person. What's a bad person? If you don't have a calibrated level of consciousness of 540 unconditional love you're going to hell there's no choice in the matter here you're going to hell because there's no word of the place for you to go are you just going to well there are uh, possibilities There's no guarantees. There's lots of stories of things that could be done to help you out. But I don't think it's going to happen because why bother? If you're not willing to invest in your life right now. And when are you going to feel like you're going to invest in your life? In your continued existence in the future? Now. Now is the moment when you must make your choices. Now. Because it's Armageddon. You didn't know? Well, I told you. It's not on mainstream news. Because they don't want you to know. The one percenters. If they don't want to lose control of this planet. And if you watch the Celestine Prophecy movie, you'll see that go to extremes in order to keep people like me down and tortured. This isn't any game at all, is it? It's not a game. It's real life. It's Armageddon. It's good versus evil. And you can't sit on the sidelines and expect, you know, to float on through while I take it on the chin. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for me. Because I want heaven on earth and I want to experience heaven. Some people say, well, you drop dead and then you go to heaven. No, you don't. It's a fallacy. It's invented by lazy-minded people who think they're just going to be gifted with something better. 
Some people are like, you know, they're so used to their meat eating ways. And then they think when they drop dead, they're going to go to a heavenly realm and continue to eat roast beef dinner on Sunday. Insane people. Insane people who refuse to use the brain that they were given to look at it. So, those people just write themselves off because of their incredible greed and gluttony and lack of empathy for other species. And those people are not going to get into the lifetime. And the people who are demonic, they're attacking me. They're going to have permanent... Well, I ever told you with the Lake of Fire. So anyways, I'm going around in circles on here, but you know, I just want to let you know that this is what it's like for me, hour after hour after hour, day after day after day. Holding space. So that you can wake up and entrain to those of us of higher consciousness. It's a service to you, and I don't know how long this is going to go on for. Because the Galactics are already showing the demonic people that continue to attack me, even though they've seen so many signs from the universe, from God, to stop. And seeing that, you know, their attack on my urinary, urinary tract this morning was foiled. They still, they're incredibly stupid and incredibly needy in their need to get attention from me. And to be my, well, they just want to be the ones that control me. They get off on it. They're just so childish and juvenile. Childish and juvenile and evil. Childish, stupid, and juvenile. That's what they come across as. Beyond stupid. The class clowns from high school. The class clowns. Those, those are the people who are the demonic people. Incredibly stupid people. People who can't pass courses in high school. Where did they go? They got hired by the 1% to operate these torture machines. They're stupid beyond belief. And they know they're going to go and have eternal punishment. They know it. And they just laugh it off among themselves because of their peer pressure. The group of devils that they are they just love and they love to do this they love to do this on camera because they just love the attention they just all they they're incredibly stupid incredibly stupid people incredibly evil so here we are at an hour and 10 minutes this is my life all day long every day this doesn't stop when i go off camera they're at me all day long. All day long. All day long like this. I'm not kidding. Which means I'm not kidding about you having to get your consciousness up to 540 on the scale of human consciousness. I am not kidding. This is about you. You. If you want to survive and live on heaven, you got to get your consciousness up. If you sit on your ass and you do nothing and you just go back to your stupid sheeple routine, you're going to be punished for your choices. I know it's a hard thing, but you look at my videos and you see I'm always demonically attacked day after day after day after day. This is the truth. This is the truth, and this is the truth. So, when are you going to be scared enough by what you see happening to me for you to make the move to say, I got to ditch everything. I got to tap into my savings. I'm going to quit my job and quit it right now. Don't go in tomorrow. Watch David R. Hawkins all day tomorrow. Binge watch him on YouTube. Binge watch Eckhart Tolle. Binge watch just those two.
you need to really learn and learn fast because the Galactics are not going to continue to have light workers holding space be attacked so the demonic are being rubbed out and as far as they're concerned you people who are under 540 on the scale of human consciousness are demonic and you're going to be rubbed out if you think well I'm a pretty good person you know I go to church or whatever that's not good enough going to church isn't enough for you get a checkbox that you're at 540 it's not you need to learn from transcending the levels of consciousness that book by David R. Hawkins you need to come to a full understanding of the levels of consciousness and what 540 on the scale means and then you need to read about all the lower levels so you can see all the other people around you and see where they're at you don't have any time because do you think that when they rub out the demonic devils that attack light workers like me that then they're going to give you more time because I won't be under demonic no because I'm broke I don't have the money to keep going. No one is supporting me. No one is giving me gifts. Do you want to give me a gift? You don't need to because the Spirit is going to look after me. The Spirit knows how much money I got left. And the Spirit's got it all planned out. So it doesn't mean you're going to get overtime when you know the demonic attacks on me, the people that do that when they're rubbed out because that's just the way it is I can't afford to continue in this world paying these exorbitant prices and the other light workers are just like me and there's all kinds of other people who aren't like light workers but are having an incredibly difficult time so if you're one of those people as much as you can watch David R. Hawkins watch Eckhart Tolle and meditate it doesn't have to be anything other than you with the intention of raising your consciousness learning all you can and applying everything you can because given the fact that the Galactic Federation are already interfering with the actions of the demonic people who attack me it's not very long before these people are going to be rubbed out I was told they'd all be rubbed out this year so is it going to be tonight that they're rubbed out and we're all finished or is it going to be I don't know eight months from now I've been talking about this and other people have been talking about this for a long time Eckhart Tolle was on the Oprah TV show for five days in a row I don't know was it 20 years ago it's not like this information about self-help and uh, raising your consciousness it's not new it's never been new but people get into their routines and they just love to enjoy their wealth their money wealth la 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 everything's gonna be fine la 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 everything's gonna be fine it's not so the demonic have you know just let me know that they're gonna do more murderous attacks on me tonight and they're gonna do it tomorrow and they're going to keep doing it because they've been doing it like I said it's been six years with this group the same group of people six years day after day that's the only thing they do are they alive how can they do this they do it they just do it how they're all set up I don't know but they do it all the time and I'm not the only targeted person there's a vast vast number of evil people that are involved with doing this evil stuff to people 
in East Germany. That was the old communist state that fell in around 1990. One third of the population were spying on the other two thirds. One third of the population of East Germany was in the employ of the government of East Germany, the communist, spying on the other two thirds. It's not new for a huge number of evil people to be paid for by the rich. In that case, it was the East German state. Everybody knows how wealthy the 1% are. It's trivial. So, you know, All day long, turkey jerky like this, making me sick to my stomach, feeling like I'm going to die every day, every day for a long periods of time. I feel so sick I'm going to die, but I'm still here. But that's how horrible it is. That's how horrible these evil people are. And you're on this probationary planet. And these people are here. Don't ignore it. The only way to survive on this planet, purgatory, is to prepare yourself for heaven, which means you've got to be the change. You have to be the change. You have to be the one who puts in the effort to get your consciousness up on the scale of human consciousness. you got to do it. you got to do it. And you have no time left. Because this is a very late date. All day long, herky jerk like this. Horrible, horrible, sickening pains sent to me. Horrible, 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 horrible things. All day long, every day. All day long. You're into an hour and twenty of watching me being tortured by remote control. And you can see sometimes they get rid and they make it very hard for me to talk to you. These people are all in on killing me and other high consciousness people on the planet. They're all in on killing us. And they have a reason. They want to have you all sheeple. But they know they're the Georgia Guidestones, you can look up the Georgia Guidestones, what the 1% plan is for planet Earth is to eliminate you. If you're not a 1%er or people who are directly serving the 1%, they don't need you. And their plan, according to the Georgia Guidestones, is to cull you, to kill you off. You don't have a choice. Because you look at it and you see what they're doing to me. 
you don't have a choice because if it's not the Galactic Federation who's going to rub you out because you're not of high enough consciousness, it's the evil 1% because their plan is not to have you around. You are between a rock and a hard place. You must drop everything in order to live. Because it's either going to be the Galactics who are going to rub you out because you're not of high enough consciousness, or it's going to be the 1% who are going to rub you out because they don't need you. And they've already told you in the Georgia Guidestones what their plans are to get rid of billions of people on the planet. You, your family, your friends. So we're at the end of this civilization, as it is. We're at the end times. The only way out for you, raise your consciousness. And there's no time. If the Galactics are here, and they are, and they're helping me out against these evil ones, these evil ones will be rubbed out this year. You don't have any time to waste. Now, if you do drop everything, and you're not at 540, but the Galactics see that you are a serious, serious person, and you're doing, they, watch, they, they can tell. If you're watching David R. Hawkins, you're watching Eckhart Tolle, and you're taking the information in, and you're doing that exclusively, they'll probably give you some grace. So it really does behoove you. It's not too late. Don't let anybody say that it's too late to raise your consciousness and then don't do that. Don't do that. Put your mind to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to raise my consciousness. And they can tell your intention. They're advanced beings and they know what you're doing. They know what you're doing every day. And be the change. Be the change now. Be the change now. So that they know. Will you get protected from the 1%? Um, let's see what they're going to say. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm asking them.
from attack all the time. I hold. I hold my level of consciousness under demonic attack every day. I do it. It can be done and you see me doing it. You look at my videos, look at my past videos. Day after day, I hold my frequency. I do it under massive demonic attack. Lots and lots and lots and lots of people who are running these torture machines. Lots of humans that are attacking me. I never got any help. I never got any help. I'm not getting much help today. Why do you expect to be protected from these evildoers when you have been wasting your time? La 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 la. Let's go to Jamaica. La la la. Let's go to Florida. La 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 la. Let's go for dinner. La 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 la. Let's get a bottle of wine. La la la. Let's watch Netflix. La la. Let's throw a big booze up party this weekend. La 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 la. I do it. I've done it. Yeah, it's super hard. An hour and a half. <laughs> I don't know who's in here. An hour and a half. This is me all day. They wake me up if I gotta go pee in three in the morning. They start this demonic attack at me at three in the morning. I might have only had two hours of sleep. I did it. And I'm doing it. Why do you get special privileges? If you're committed, it's a war. It's a war. Good versus evil. If you're committed to good, to love, to higher love, higher consciousness, if you're committed to that, then you're committed to that regardless of how many attacks are on you by the demonic. This is no cakewalk, as you can see. And this has been years and years, decades of my life as a serious spiritual student. all day long for years this and worse you have to be all in on survival that's what we're talking about your survival you as an individual human your survival depends upon you raising your consciousness and doing it now don't wait it's already too late. In many ways it is. All the same. You drop everything. Quit your job. I know, it sounds crazy. Do it. An hour and a half of seeing me being tortured by remote control. And I'm telling you, it's because I've raised my consciousness. And I'm doing it so that I can survive. I want heaven on earth and I want to be there. I'm all in. If you're only half-assed in on it, you're not going to make it. You're going to be exterminated and you're going to be punished for not doing it. You learned in kindergarten to be kind to others. I see so many adult human beings who completely forgot that they went through kindergarten. Completely forgot. And if you bring it up, they just look at you and they just like laugh laugh at me like I'm an idiot. I'm not an idiot. I've got a master's in business administration. I've got a bachelor of science. I've got tons and tons of work experience. I've lived on planet Earth and I've worked my ass off. And I've been a serious spiritual student on the side. And people that know me know 
But over the years, I used to eat meat and I used to drink a lot of booze. You have to be the change. You have got to... Don't ask you all your don't ask your husband or your wife or your son or your daughter or your next door neighbor or your best friend. Don't ask them for advice. They're just gonna lead you down the wrong path and you're gonna regret it forever. And ever and ever and ever. I don't know how long you're gonna be punished. I don't know. Why go down that path? Why put your future in the hands of other beings of more advanced consciousness and have them decide your fate? You be proactive and you take your future in your own hands. And right now, you make your future. You make it. You make it by dropping everything and working on your becoming a serious spiritual student right now right now right now and don't stop don't go to work tomorrow don't go to work the next day spend all day long learning binge watching the people I've talked to you about doing meditation there's places in your city where you can go and you can get formal instruction in meditation do you need it? If you can do meditation on your own, you don't need it. But if you think you need a hand, you need some help, be all in. Spend some money. This is your survival as a person. And the penalties are either you get rubbed out by the 1% or somebody else because they look at you and you say, you're too much of a scumbag for us to even wait around for you to raise your consciousness. You have to be all in. You need to be all in now. And tough well look at me look at me this is me all day long it's unbelievable horrific years and years of this years of it every day like this years I'm all in and this is my shitty unbelievable shitty life but I'm a hundred percent dedicated to seeing heaven on earth in this lifetime yes in this lifetime so whatever I'm all in on now it's because I expect to see heaven on earth really soon in this lifetime I go they make my skin itch and then I go up to scratch and then they herky jerk my arm uh, to scratch me they want to hurt me in any way they can they're incredibly stupid people the class clown the devilish evil person that, you know, does evil things to people. Those are the people. The people that love. They just love to hurt other people. That's what they live for, is to hurt others, to kill others. That's the only thing they live for. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Scummy, scumbag, shitty. They're not even human. They're not human. They are not human. They are evil, evil, evil people. I can't call them human because they don't have any humanity in them. Zero humanity. They spit on humanity. And they're incredibly stupid people. These people couldn't get a job. No one would hire them. They're thieves. And they're too stupid. They're too stupid to get a job. Because they're too stupid. They're incredibly stupid. Dumb beyond belief. And all they want to do is hurt me. That's all they want to do all day long. A whole pile of them. Paid for by the 1%. This is an hour 37. Yeah, and this is why my day is like every day, all day long. I'm not kidding about you having to raise your consciousness now. 
You need to do it. You need to do it. You have no choice. You must do this. You'll be punished horribly if you don't. That's it. It just goes on. Oh, no. Shake this thing. Try and smack my arm around. Try and break my arm. Try and get me run over by cars. Evil intent. Evil, evil intent. Evil intent. Evil, evil, evil intent. Evil intent. Evil intent. Nothing but 100% evil intent. Killers and murderers. Torturers. And they just think it's a joke. They just laugh and gloat. They gloat that they've got this power over me. They gloat and they're just so proud of themselves. They never built these machines. They're dumb bunnies. You would find them at Dead Man's Curve. In the Alcoholics Bar in your town. That's where you would find these people. Rock bottom people. Hardcore alcoholics. Hardcore druggies. Meth heads. All day long. This is what I live with. All day long. Every day. All day long. This is my testimony. This is the truth. You have got to raise your consciousness because it's called harvest time. Ascended Master Sananda told me 20 years ago through a channel, it's harvest time. If you want to know about harvest time, uh, on YouTube, look up Aaron Abke, A-B-K-E. He's a great spiritual teacher. That's another place you can go. Watch a lot of it. Binge watch Aaron Apke. Absolutely. Excellent young teacher. Excellent. Don't waste any time. Quit your job. Pick up your smartphone. Call in to work. If you've got vacation owing, pick your vacation. Just say, I got to go. I can't come in. Just make up a lie. I'm sick. I can't come in. It's tell accounting, call accounting and say, I got to go on vacation. I want my vacation paid. Or just quit and tell them to pay you out your vacation. Whatever you need to do, quit your job. Quit your job. It's your life. This is no bullshit. It is no bullshit. It is not bullshit. You look at my videos day after day I'm demonically attacked this is the reality that this is the real reality the real reality is this what I'm showing you right now this is reality on the planet for you this is reality for me so it is real you have no choice you don't want to be punished for not raising your consciousness. Do you? Do you? Some people are incredibly stupid when it comes to this. Incredibly dense. It's just like, this is just going to go away. The torture of Bobby Burroughs, it's just going to go away. And the years go by, and it doesn't go away. It hasn't gone away, and it's not going to go away. Until they're rubbed out. And when they're rubbed out, if you're not at 540, you're going to be rubbed out. How's that going to happen? Well, we have two matrices here on the planet. Remember the movie The Matrix? We've got two of them one overlying the other. The 3D matrix, that was the one that we saw Keanu Reeves in, in the movie, and the 5D matrix, which is still here. It's here. I didn't want to say still, they put still in. That's what they do, they insert bullshit words in the middle of my talks, because they want to gloat and give you wrong information. That's part of their job, is to give you wrong information. 
they're unbelievably evil. As you can see. Unbelievably evil people. Incredibly evil people. So, when you raise your consciousness on the scale of human consciousness, the 5D matrix is where you are supported. Your life is supported by the fifth dimensional matrix. That's the one that you heard about in that song, The Age of Aquarius by the band, The Fifth Dimension. That song came out in 1969. You've had a hell of a long time. 1969, it's 2022. That's a long time for people to investigate the age of Aquarius. So, if you raise your consciousness and you get up to 540, you're living in the fifth dimensional matrix. Both matrices are here. You can't see them. You can't flip a switch to say, I'm going to be in the 3D matrix or the 5D matrix. The only switch you have is you raising your consciousness on the scale of human consciousness. The fifth dimensional matrix is what supports me. But it's an overlay of the 3D matrix because people have got them that are everybody was in the 3D matrix. When the Matrix movie came out and there was a year 2000, 22 years ago, everybody, me included, was 3D matrix. But the 5D matrix is here. You raise your consciousness and the 5D matrix is what supports me. But those 3D people who are evil are um, hosted by the 3D matrix. And both matrices are here. And people in the 3D matrix can attack the people in 5D. It sounds stupid. Well, it's the transition period. So that people like you who are lower in consciousness can raise your consciousness and switch over to the 5D matrix. The great time of transition is giving people time to raise their consciousness. And that's what we've been talking about for years and years and years. So what's going to happen to the people who didn't raise their consciousness is the 3D matrix will no longer be supported. In essence, turned off. And the matrix that you have been relying upon for your la 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 let's go have another party, another beer binge, another trip to McDonald's for more meat. You're just going to disappear because that matrix won't be here anymore. It'll just be exclusively the 5D matrix. And all those people who are lower in consciousness who rely upon the 3D matrix, I think they're just going to disappear. Did you watch that movie Infinity Wars? Even Spider-Man disappeared from existence in that movie. And that's what we're talking about for you people. Who haven't raised your consciousness on the scale of human consciousness. So, I don't expect to see a whole pile of dead bodies at the end of the 3D matrix. A big mess for the 5D people to clean up. No, I just expect it all to disappear. Everything 3D to disappear. And all the goodies of the 5D matrix to be here. So in essence, when you raise your consciousness, you just hold your consciousness at higher levels of consciousness and you're plugged into the 5D matrix automatically. And whenever this happens, the end of the 3D matrix, there's no worries for you. No muss, no fuss. It's the beautiful, most beautiful planet Earth. Watch the Celestine Prophecy movie to get an idea how beautiful 5D Earth is they show you. In the meantime, the demonic people here are complaining that I've been on the phone making this video for an hour and 47 minutes because they're stupid they think that this is a TV show they do they treat me making videos it's their TV show they're insane they want to consider that they want credits they want to be considered the producers of these videos they think it's a TV show every day they think they're acting on a TV show they're insane that's the way. They truly do. They truly do. They think that there's people watching them. Watching my videos and watching me on TV all the rest of the time. 
They're, they tell themselves this all the time. They're totally insane. They're beyond insane. Beyond insane, they know everything that's about to happen, all about the 3D matrix and the 5D matrix. They know all about this. They continue to be low-vibe tribe, killing me, knowing that the 3D matrix is going, and because they're demonic, they're going to the lake of fire and other horrible places. They continue day after day, year after year, knowing their fate of eternal punishment, eternal damnation for being demonic. So they don't care. All they want to do is resume their attacks on me. They're beyond insane. Evil people are beyond insane. And the proof is in the pudding. Watch my videos and see the same people who are supported by the 1% and their high-tech stuff. Knowing that they're going to be horribly punished for being demons. They don't want to change from being demonic. They don't. Day after day after day, they just... They're insane. There is no... They're not logical. They're not human. What logical human, rational human would choose this. They wouldn't. These people are irrational. They don't care about their future. They don't care about eternal punishment. They don't care. All they want to do is keep torturing me. I'm not kidding. It is Armageddon on the planet. Good versus evil. It's good versus evil. It's good versus evil. Have I not shown you? Have I not explained what's going on? Have I convinced you yet that the reason that I'm demonically attacked is because it's harvest time? It's because we're going to 5D Earth this year? If I haven't convinced you, I don't think there's anything that can convince you of anything. After watching this far in my video and going and seeing my other videos, seeing the same thing day after day, What does it take to get you scared enough to drop everything and go on a crash course of meditation and learning spiritual truths from the spiritual teachers that I've given you in this video? What does it take to shake you loose from sitting on your laurels, from sitting on your fat ass and your case of beer and your roast beef dinner? and your binge watching of Netflix. What does it take to wake you up, to shake you into, what the fuck is going on to Bobby Burroughs? What the fuck is going on? Why doesn't anybody say that? The people that know me, my friends and family, Brain dead. That's all I can say. Incredibly brain dead. Some of them are just, you know, retired. And all they do is they drink. They go from one drunk to another. That's all they live for. Getting drunk. 
doesn't sound like they're enjoying their life. If you got to get drunk every day, or you look forward to, you know, you're like 57 years old and you're still acting like you're 19 and you just discovered booze. And lots of people like that. People who had lots of promise when I knew them in high school just lost it. If you're one of those people, it's like, you know, there's a bright future. If you drop the bottle, drop the meat, go on a crash course, being the change, being somebody who wants to live in the earth that's given to you in that movie, The Celestine Prophecy. No one else is going to gift it to you. It's so easy to get it there, but you have to do the inner work. You got to do it. You got to do it on yourself. You've got to force yourself to do it. You got to say, I want to live. I want to live. Do you want to live or not? Don't consult with other people and see what their opinions are. You've watched two hours of me being tortured by remote control. Listen to somebody who knows. Listen to someone who is targeted by the evil ones. Me. Listen to me and what I'm telling you. Because I'm giving you the direct evidence. The direct evidence of me being attacked for making these videos so that you can get really really I want you to get scared out of your wits I want you to be beyond frightened because you should be frightened and shivering in your boots you should be you should be sh not about what's going on, on the TV What's going on when you're watching this video of Bobby Burroughs being attacked by the evil ones who don't want you to wake up just because they're evil? As much as they love to torture me, they don't want you to wake up. They don't want you to do this because they've already chosen to die. And they've got a death cult. And they want you to be in the death cult by default. Hear that big noise out there? That's the synchronicity of the universe saying, pay attention. Pay attention to what I'm saying. Pay attention. Pay attention, for Christ's sake. This is your life. This is your existence. There's no upside to you sitting on your fat ass. There's no upside for you going into work tomorrow and doing your stupid Joe job. There's no upside to that. It's guaranteed death, and it's also punishment. Because what do you think is going to happen when you're low vibe? Where do you think you're going to go? They delete your body because it's supported by the 3D matrix. You, your body is no longer there, so what's left? Your consciousness? Well, I don't even know if you're going to get that far. Some people? Yes. And then where does your consciousness go? Well, it's mind. Your mind. And your mind, if it's not at 540, it's not a good enough mind to get put back into another body. From their goal, because you've had many lifetimes. You just have to look into people who talk about past lives. You have had many human lifetimes. Many chances for you to raise your consciousness on the scale of human consciousness. That's the story. I mean, if you're an ignorant person and you're not interested in doing research on past lives, reincarnation, then you're an ignoramus. But never mind, push it all aside. Now that you, you should be really scared, you see that I'm shook all day long because I rose, raised my consciousness and by just by talking, they just decide because they've got this high-tech machine. It's trivial for them to torture me. It's nothing. Stupidest people, the stupidest alcoholic drug meth heads, the stupidest people, beyond stupid just incredibly it just it just boggles your mind it boggles my mind that they would continuously choose day after day hour after hour the joy they get out of being just a fucking devil knowing they're going to be punished knowing 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 and doing it over and over again but you know it's just like you you're going to think well i don't know those devils but never mind you're a devil if you're not at 540 on the scale of human consciousness, you are a devil. 
on this planet and you won't be given another body. So what's going to happen to your disembodied spirit? I don't know if I'm going to get an answer on this because it's not a good way to go. Uncertainty, relying upon higher consciousness beings to decide what to do with you. Why do you want to give away your power to somebody else? You hate paying taxes to the government, somebody who insists on you giving them stuff. Uh, why, why do you want to have other people in control of your life? Why don't you want to take control of your own life? You want to keep control of your career? It's really important. Your career growth, but that's all bullshit. It's stupid. Because you don't have a career in this particular time of the Great Awakening. Some people call it. You don't have time. I'm almost out of time because I'm almost out of money. The Galactics are not going to, you know, issue me a big check, are they? So that I can continue to be here and have nobody interested in asking me questions? Because nobody does. Nobody asks me questions about how do, you, how do I raise my consciousness. Everyone just thinks I'm insane. Just like Noah in the Bible. People who've known me for decades and decades, who insist I'm insane. I'm not insane. I'd be working if I could. I can't. I'm under demonic attack. You need to use this video of me being attacked by the demonic to come to the conclusion that you're in trouble. You are in the worst trouble. I mean, if somebody went to the doctor and they said, you know, you got cancer, you would quit your job, wouldn't you? and work full time at trying everything you could, you know, nutrition, exercise, everything you could to save your life. That's what people do when they're diagnosed with cancer. Isn't it true? I'm diagnosing you with not being at 540 on the scale of human consciousness. It's just like the same thing as a cancer diagnosis. I'm telling you, you don't have cancer. You've got under 540 disease. You would go all in on saving your life if you had cancer. Would you not? You'd be all in. All in. Everything else has got to fall by the wayside. I have got to work on my health. And you all do that. But when it comes to your spiritual growth, spirit doesn't exist. You have more faith in protons and electrons that you were told you were you know, book learned into believing in. You believe in these invisible things called electrons to run your smartphone because your smartphone works. But you don't want to believe in spirit because you can't see it. But when people die, you know, you'll go to church and give them the send-off and say, rest in peace. And, you know, in the olden days, people would go to church, you know, once a year at Christmas or Easter, mostly Christmas. That's pretty much died out. So people, it's stupid. There is so many spiritual teachers they can give you another side. If you believe in electrons and protons, why can't you believe in the spirit? And if you still can't make up your mind, well, why not bet that it's real? Because there's huge upside to the spirit being real. And there's no upside to saying it doesn't exist. There's no benefit to that. Absolute huge upside of heaven. So, I mean, if you look at the two sides, why invest in the choice that gives you no upside? Invest in the choice that the spirit is real with maximum upside. If you can't see the logic of that, then you're too stupid. And I can't fix stupid. So here I am.
two hours and I'm still being demonically attacked? Have I convinced you yet that the, that this is organ that this is Armageddon? And you know the words are getting blocked because they've got high tech stuff and then you know, all kinds of oh, horrible things that they're doing you can't hear but they're sending it to me directly because they've got this high tech thing you can look up voice to skull it's American technology it was used um, in Iraq the Iraq war high tech things beam directly at the Iraqi soldiers saying drop your weapons and uh, surrender to the Americans and the Americans would use that psychological warfare and they would say it's Allah speaking to you in your mind I am Allah surrender to the Americans this technology you can go and google that voice to skull Gulf War and you'll see it's real and that's the technology that's used against me and other light workers advanced versions of voice to skull the technology is there on the internet it's talked about you can see it it's no phony baloney I'm not making it up you do your homework and you go and you'll see voice to skull is real it was used in the Gulf War by the Americans many people think that they are talking to extraterrestrials and they're not they're talking voice to skull with people who are trying to fool them how do you get the difference between um, voice to skull and real downloads because they're both happening at the same time for me I get downloads from spirit and I get voice to skull torture at the same time and it's very strange because even the people you know the demonic people who are using voice to skull they get the downloads at the same time as me because I can hear them talking and I can see they get the information the same time as me and they have for years you would think that the evidence would prove to the people who torture me that the spirit is real because they get download after download to follow along with what I'm talking about or what they're talking about and seeing how stupid things are day after day after day the spirit talks to them and shows them stop attacking me over and over again stop attacking me or you're going to be electrocuted message after message download after download into these evil demonic people day after day week after week year after year they get information from the spirit they do the people who attack me they get direct messages and they see the same thing I do the messages from spirit why don't they change they don't they don't so they know they're going to be horribly punished for doing this evil stuff they know the spirit tells them all the time they're insane evil insanity evil insanity you cannot explain the demonic people they're irrational all they want to do is kill and they do have foresight they can see they have foresight to see that this is where they're going to end up but they're so insane they just they're in love with their ego their ego they just love their ego they love their ego more than they love life itself and they love playing their stupid characters that they present to me humans acting like something else to me making up phony characters phony names names from the movies they use electronic um, voice distortions where they can go you know take on the voice of Burt Reynolds from the movies and beam that into me various other actors high-tech stuff when they beam Burt Reynolds into my head it sounds like Burt Reynolds and it feels like Burt, Burt Reynolds too You've, it's very high-tech so people who are getting channelings from 
Extraterrestrials may not be getting them. Is it real or not? I get enough downloads to say, yeah, the extraterrestrials are here. And the evil ones are also using this technology to try and dissuade me from believing the extraterrestrials are here. Even when the extraterrestrials helped me out earlier today, when the demonic people and their high-tech machines were blocking my ability to pee. Over and over again, day after day, these demonic people, they continue to play their stupid ego game. They're in love with their stupid, 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 stupid characters and their stupid, stupid ego. They're insanely stupid. But you know these dysfunctional people. You know these alcoholics that, you know, alcoholics that know they're alcoholics. They know that their lives are ruined. They, li they ruin their lives and the lives of their family. But their addiction to alcohol is an addiction. It's an addiction to this story. The alcoholic is addicted to their story. I'm an alcoholic. Poor me. I can't do anything about it. Poor me. Pour me another bottle of booze. That's insane. Everybody knows Alcoholics Anonymous is real. And you can go for free. Why don't they go? They're in love with their ego. They love their poor pity party story. Poor me, I'm an alcoholic. I can't change. I am fated to be an alcoholic. So, I enjoy getting drunk. I'm going to get drunk. And then, I'm going to pass out, piss my pants barf and then tomorrow by 11 a.m. I'll be back drinking again day after day after day a dead man's curve why did they do that they're in love with their ego they're in love with their story their ego and their story is more important than life itself why Ego is ego. Story is story. And these people that are torturing me, it's like two hours, ten minutes on this video. They're still doing it. They're listening to what I'm saying. They're incredibly stupid. Beyond stupid. Because they're just incredibly evil. Beyond stupid. Cannot learn. They cannot learn after, you know, six years of me, the same people being with me. They are too stupid to learn. They're too stupid to talk a lot of the time. Cannot have a conversation with me because they're too dumbed down, too stupid. Too stupid to converse. Too stupid will not say why they do it. When I ask them over and over again, it's like, you know, a game. I'm not going to tell you, Bob. Because they live in an incredible fantasy world. Their fantasy world of being a torturer is like you and your career, if you have a serious career. Their serious career is playing the characters, the stupid, demonic characters that they play. Voice to skull to me every day, all day long. That's what evil is like. You cannot, you can't change demonic, evil, stupid people. You can't educate them. You cannot show them the errors of their ways because they refuse to see. Do they see it? Yes. Why do they do it? Ego is just so strong. The desire to hurt is more important than knowing that there's nowhere for them to go when they're rubbed out. And being told over and over again, you continue doing this, you're going to go and be in that lake of fire. Knowing it, seeing the Spirit over and over again saying to them, I'm going to punish you. Why doesn't the Spirit just rub them out? 
uh, because the spirit is still removing a lot of people who are protecting these demonic people as the standard story. The ultimate story is that there's no spirit and what's going on is a slow steady slide into death for Bobby Burroughs. But that's not my story. That's their story. My story is 5D Earth. It's real. Listen to Prime Disclosure on YouTube. I gave you that one earlier. Every day they give you the real news and what's going on. Good people telling you that they're on board with the fifth dimensional Earth. The demonic people just want me to talk about their stupid characters, and their stupid made up names and their stupid vanity, the vanity of their stupid egos that they think are superior to me because they are the ones that are hired to run these electronic torture machines. Stupid people who never passed high school. Stupid people who cherish their drugging and their drinking. Stupid people who cherish torturing other people as if it's prestige. It's a prestige position in the organization. They get so twisted in their heads that they, they continue to call me the terrorist. They do. They're completely insane. Beyond insane. It's good versus evil. The one percent have hired and paid for these stupid alcoholics, these stupid drug using fuck faced people. Support them a hundred percent so that they can a hundred percent of the time for years. They don't want to take a vacation. They haven't. They don't take vacations. They don't take weekends off. From the moment they wake up to the moment they fall asleep. They're in their insane fantasy that, you know, torturing me is a prestige thing that, you know, they should be recognized by the world as doing a favor to the world. Because they continue to insist that I'm the terrorist, that I, I'm a terrorist, and I'm the one that deserves to be punished. Because they're so fucked in the head. They're beyond fucked in the head. Years and years not taking a day off. The same stupid people, the same stupid operators. No vacation, not a day off, not a weekend, not even a sick day. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing but doing this. This is their life. And they know that they're going to be horribly punished when they're rubbed out. And they've seen the Galactic Federation of Light, and they just want to keep saying, well, it's phony baloney. And I've shown them so many different times, the Spirit has shown them so many times, that they're full of shit. Over and over again, they throw away. They just keep putting it out of their mind, what the Spirit shows them. That they're doing evil and they're going to be punished. They just keep putting it out of their mind. They're addicted to torturing me. Have I convinced you yet? After two hours and 16 minutes, are you watching me being tortured by remote control? Shaking and shaking and shaking. Turkey jerking my whole body or jerking my arms. Fucking with my ability to talk. If I can't convince you in this long video that I am under demonic attack and giving you enough information, spiritual information about what's going on. If I can't convince you in this video that what I'm talking about is real, then you're a write-off, aren't you? You should be scared shitless after watching this video. You should be so scared that all you want to do is quit your job and binge watch David R. Hawkins and Eckhart, Eckhart Tolle and do what they tell you to do. 
raise your consciousness, drop everything, ditch everybody in your life, because it's self-preservation for you. That's what this video is about. You. You. My future is secure. I've got the consciousness above 540. I'm okay. This is a horror. Years and years, six years of being under complete electronic torture by these devils. These devils mean business. So even if you don't think that anything I'm saying about raising your consciousness makes sense, these people are the people who keep talking about the Georgia Guidestones and killing you off, killing your family off. You can see it. This is what they do to me all the time, and this is what they want to do to you. They might not want to torture you. If they want to torture you, of course they want to torture you. And they want to torture your children. And you stupid people that keep getting this experimental jab over and over again. Dumb bodies. Why don't you listen to somebody smart? Why do you listen to those fucking morons on the television? Those fucking people that call themselves doctors? Because they're fucking people. They're fucking useless fucking idiots. Horrible, horrible people. I've been through it all. I've been through all of this fucking shit on this planet. These fucking evil people. Nothing but they'll tell you anything in order to get money. Or to get status. Oh, doctor, what do you think I should do? Sheeple people, wake up. You're an adult. You need to look at this world and say, my God, what the fuck are they doing? Another war? Well, it's a phony baloney war, propaganda war, to make you believe that you need to listen to the mainstream news over and over again, all their pack of lies. This is the real news. I'm under attack by those people who own mainstream news. I don't want you to wake up to the Great Awakening. Why is the Great? Because lots of people have woken up and are continue to wake up to this is what it is. All kinds of people, millions of people worldwide, millions and millions of people. This is what I put up with. Remote control, jerking of my arm. Remote control, putting words into my mouth. P punching myself in the nose. Because of remote control. So odds are stacked against you. You don't want to go and break my phone. Because they're insane. They think that this is their TV show. And they want me to keep talking. Because they want me to even tell you their stupid character names. The names of their stupid characters. This is what it is. I'm going to keep shaking you and shaking you and to Bob and tell you start talking about me because they want their fucking ego. Their fucking ego is just so huge. Huge swollen head. They want you to think that their stupid characters are more important than the information I'm giving you about you raising your consciousness. That's what they live. They're insane, evil, fucking stupid people. Like Lester Holt on NBC News is an insane, stupid fucking person. All those fucking newscasters are evil. They know what they're doing. They know they lie on purpose for the money. Anderson Cooper. Evil fucking people. Anyways, they're trying to shake my head off, as you can see. Have I scared you enough yet? Because if they can do this to me, if they can target me with this electronic warfare, they can target you too. You're not special. You have the same human physiology I do, and it's totally open to electronic torture. Totally open to being tortured the way I am. You don't have a choice after you see it.
What they do to me, they can do it to you, they can do it to your children. You need to drop everything. You need to be scared out of your wits so that you are totally motivated to drop everything and do a crash course on you raising your consciousness right now. Because they've targeted me and you're next.